It's a beautiful day here in Colorado. A great day to graduate from high school. Oh, hi, I'm Molly, and I'm just about to graduate. And that's my best friend, John. We're both getting excited about going to college. Some of my other high school friends are too, but before we start college, we're going to have to make sure we're ready for the coursework ahead. And that's what I'd like to talk about today, remediation and understanding remedial rates in Colorado. The first thing we'll have to do at college is register for classes. But in order to register, we need to provide our test scores. John and I didn't remember to bring our test scores, so we'll have to take the AccuPlacer test to measure our readiness for college. There's John. He couldn't really remember some of the math from high school, so the test determined that he will have to take a remedial course. The math was pretty hard for me, too. Remedial courses, also sometimes called developmental courses, help students brush up on academic skills. These are courses for students like John and me who just need a little more work to be college ready. There are many students like us at the national level as well who need remediation. In fact, nationally, approximately a third of the students who enroll in post-secondary coursework aren't college ready. The remedial rate, which is a way of measuring how many students need remediation, is calculated differently in each state. In some states, remedial rates are determined simply by how many students take remedial courses. In other states, they use test scores. And in a few states, the remedial rate is determined by including both students who take remedial courses and students who are assessed as needing remediation by a test. These states include Texas, Florida, and Arkansas. Let's get back to Colorado, where John loves to ski and I enjoy the sunshine. In Colorado, we determine the remedial rate by starting with high school graduates, like my friend John and me. We start with this group because the Department of Higher Education and the Department of Education are sharing data amongst the two state agencies, which makes for a cleaner link between data. Like I said before, John and I took a test that says we need remediation. Unfortunately, John's test score wasn't recorded, even though we will both be taking the same remedial course. The way we calculate the remedial rate in Colorado will both count. This represents a change for the state of Colorado. Using the old methodology for calculating the remedial rate, we started with college students. Then we counted the number of students who had a certain score on a remedial test. In my case, my test score would have shown that I had forgotten some important math skills and was assigned to take a remedial course in math. My score would be recorded and then sent to the state where they would try to link my current information to my high school information. The problem is that some colleges do not always record which high school students come from and other times, that information is reported inaccurately. So, there was no way to connect my test scores to my high school record and my information was lost. Not to mention, John's score wasn't recorded. So even though he took a remedial course, he wasn't counted in the old remedial rate. Well, what's the difference between the old methodology and the new methodology? The new way starts with everyone graduating from high school and includes both those students who are assessed for remediation and those who take remedial courses, even if their test scores aren't recorded. The old way started only with students already in college and only included those students whose test scores were recorded. This allowed for lots of students to fall through the cracks. The new remedial rate is more inclusive and gives a better picture of students in Colorado and our remediation needs. What's really exciting is not the report. It's all the work on remedial or developmental education happening every day all around the state of Colorado. From policymakers to campus leaders to high school teachers, everyone is working to make sure graduating high school students are college ready. Once we're in college, the goal of the state is for each of us to be successful and earn a degree that can prepare us for our futures. 
I want to be a nurse and I'm going to need my college degree. At the community colleges, there are innovative new courses to help students like me who need remedial education complete courses in less time and get us into college level courses sooner. So soon, all my high school friends and I will be college ready and on to successful careers. If you'd like to learn more, please visit the Department of Higher Education website or call their office. I know they'd love to discuss all the great work across the state of Colorado.